Yankee candies. We're still waiting for this one to wake up though. It was our best bait last year. We only got two bites in a walleye last night. Tonight's tonight. Welcome back to another fun and exciting video. Smith Fishing Outdoors without Fisher Smith. It even makes it even more fun without Fisher Smith. Just to catch a bunch of fish and show them all the fish pictures. It just makes me it just makes me giggle inside. He gets ready to go back to school. He's in school, yep. And we're catching fish. It's so much fun. So, on to day three of this trip. We've got uh, plenty of muskies already. Let's uh, let's continue on. And uh, we're moved to a different part of Lake St. Clair. And we're after some pretty big fish tonight. So, hang on. We're going to make it happen. Fish. Uh, it's a pucker. <laughs> then you raise the rod tip up and the boil will come up in the air. Then you keep the rod tip down, right, like right now even, the board's doing its job. If you lift it up, it tends to dig. But right about now, I lift it way high and keep it, keep it cranked and hard. Real, 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 back up. Nice. Feel nice that works? I get this corner. Are you going to want to pull him over my shoulder over here? Got the wreck and rack out. Everybody ready? Everybody ready? Yeah. Isn't it nice of Joe to get our fish out of the net? <laughs> He's such a good guy, isn't he? I don't even care. I'm just. Yeah, that's kind of like bring it to me. Thank you. <laughs> yes, appreciate it. What a nice fish. Joe Jr. Sport Fishing. Beautiful Got him. Fish. Got him. <laughs> nice one. Bam. Dandy. Dandy, dandy, dandy. I'm getting this my birthday picture. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, you are. You are up. Joe's trying to take a turn. Yeah. What a way to treat your brother. I the, the older brother or little brother? I'm the uh, younger and wiser brother. Younger and wiser brother. God, I know how that goes. <laughs> oh, I knew the wiser thing, I just didn't know the age. <laughs> spooling it. Re spooling it? Paul got out of sync with the line on the spool. So you get a fish on it and it'll screw you up. Because it'll be like really hard to pull line out if the fish is pulling back. Good way to break off or lose a fish. You gotta be careful when the pawl gets worn. I, I put a new pawl in it back at the house today. It's good to keep those parts on hand. Uh, every reel that has a line guide, that's a serious problem. It probably got messed up last fall when we were fishing when it was cold out. You get ice stuck in between the pawl and the side of the reel and it, it jams up and it wears the pawl out. And it can even screw up the worm gear underneath. So it's good to keep some extra parts for a trip when you're way far away and keep some extra rods and reels along because you never know when you're going to need them. Cleaning lines. The 
garbage collector. Oh, is that wonderful? Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? It's like dragging down to the bottom. <laughs> What pinhole do you like on your matlock? Not that one. That's why I didn't catch any fish the other day. You like the front one way out there? Yeah, that's what everybody runs it on. It's the best one. You get the most wander out of the bait. Wander. Wander. You want them to wander. That's what makes them bite them. The baits that wander more get more bite. Still there? Okay. Just kind of come towards you? Hi, Dave. What do you say, Joe? That one eat. Ziggy Ziggy? Beautiful musket. Yo, they're all great. It's been a tough night, uh, 4.39 right now. We just got a 39 inch, thanks to Doug. I'm up, I'm up to bat, uh, top of the order. What do you think, Jason? My arm's tired. Yeah, the lunker. Play lines. One I've ever fought. Yeah, you never had play called salmon on you. <laughs> it's good to be back, it really is. Three months after oh, yeah. triple bypass surgery. Call this therapy, Jason. <laughs> therapy. Musky therapy. Down to 100 feet. Stripped out 200 feet of line. Work it, baby. Work it. There she is. Oh, over here, Jason. Keep it coming up the side. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> uh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, I thought it was a trout. <laughs> that thing is a walleye for a yeah, second. I know. Like, is that a walleye? And I seen the jaw. I'm like, oh, that's oh, fucking awesome. Awesome. Oh, I can't even feel my forearm. <laughs> <laughs> Hit some slime on it. Just three and a half. No, just his 34.
Is it? There you go. Well, that was a lot of work. Let her go. Hardest fought 34 incher I've ever caught in my entire life. Joe's up to bat. You don't. Think you're gonna use that net? Well, I don't know. Your brother gonna let you actually scoop? I had that one yesterday. He did. Both of them, I no, I don't know. We haven't. There's no verification yet. Fish, 48 and three quarter, just a slob. Big head on her. Well, 
we stuck it out for another hour just because we're musky fishermen and yeah. we have to do that. Yeah. And uh let's go tie up over somewhere common and take a bath. <laughs> now it's time to go back to bed. But uh good night, had by all. We got five fish last night, good to go. Let's talk to you tomorrow.